Part 4 Resolutions I now view my long road as a search for truth, truth in my own heart, in the world around me and in the larger questions of purpose and of existence. How does one define good and evil? I carried an internal code of morals with me on my trek, though whether I was born with it or it was imparted to me by Zachnafain, or whether it simply developed from my perceptions, I cannot ever know. This code forced me to leave Menzo Berenzon, for though I was not certain of what those truths might have been, I knew beyond doubt that they would not be found in the domain of Loth. After many years in the Underdark, outside of Menzo Berenzon, and after my first awful experiences on the surface, I came to doubt the existence of any universal truth came to wonder if there was, after all, any purpose to life. In the world of drow, ambition was the only purpose, the seeking of material gains that came with increased rank. Even then, that seemed a little thing to me, hardly a reason to exist. I thank you, Montolio de Bruchet, for confirming my suspicions. I have learned that the ambition of those who follow selfish precepts is no more than a chaotic waste a finite gain that must be followed by infinite loss, for there is indeed a harmony in the universe, a concordant singing of common weal. To join that song, one must find inner harmony, must find the notes that ring true. There is one other point to be made about that truth. Evil creatures cannot sing. Drist Doerden Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed this rendition of R.A. Salvatore's Sojourn, Part 4, Resolutions. Just a reminder for those that listen, that these are weekly releases of chapters and the diaries of Drist, and I will not be continuing to do more than that until I get more comfortable with editing or find myself in a position where I can hire an editor. I appreciate you guys listening, and I hope to see you back here on the next one.